Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Surfshark's new Surfshark Everlink. Is this a marketing buzzword or is it actually something that makes Surfshark unique and worth using more than ever? Let's go ahead and talk about it. Keep in mind guys, this video is not sponsored by Surfshark. Unlike a lot of other YouTubers out there who have investments from Surfshark or NordVPN or something like that, um, or are sponsored. This channel takes no sponsors as of right now. We only use affiliate links. That said, we are an affiliate for Surfshark and several other VPNs. So if you like what I have to say in this video, whether the pros and the cons, go ahead and check out my link for Surfshark in the description down below. That will get you a discount and some extra months. So guys, with this objective taken in mind, let's see if Surfshark's Everlink is actually something that is interesting to us or maybe not. All right, guys, so Surfshark sent me this like little press release in an email um, where they kind of want people to talk about it. So let's go ahead and see if it's worth talking about. So basically Surfshark has um, unveiled a new thing called Everlink, and this is a patent, a technology patent. Uh, just a little short thing. I kind of hate technology patents. I think it's kind of annoying when companies try to kind of isolate patents and make it so, uh, you know, it kind of restricts the growth of technology. Um, but uh, outside of that, I guess it makes sense from a business perspective, but it is kind of annoying. I've seen this even with stuff like Nintendo and how they restricted, like they patent all these things so nobody can make it like a Pokemon competitor. Anyways, um, but basically what Everlink is, is a self-healing infrastructure, which ensures continuous VPN connectivity by seamlessly recovering dropped VPN connections. So this is basically made to unstable a perfectly secure VPN connection and minimize the risk of IP address exposure. So on the surface, this sounds pretty good. Some of the first questions I have are like, isn't this kind of just what a kill switch is? But it kind of talks about that a little bit later. So this kind of just goes into more of the same kind of thing. Think of a well-known VPN comparison to an encrypted tunnel. If the VPN tunnel secures your traffic, imagine Surfshark Everlink as another one which secures that tunnel. So that's actually an interesting kind of comparison. So let's say you have some armor. Um, and something's wrong with that armor, it's kind of dysfunctional or something, there's like a, a little chain link missing. But if you have another armor on, um, you know, I guess that secures you as well. So that's kind of what the idea behind this is. So I guess that sounds kind of cool in theory. Surfshark Everlink also ensures the VPN service for the user remains stable in case of server maintenance repairs. So let's say we had to shut down one of our servers for maintenance. Everlink would route all traffic to another closest server without inter any interruptions. So that is pretty nice. Um, so they do talk about how it is kind of like the kill switch, but I think an important distinction here is that the kill switch for a normal VPN will just kind of disconnect you and ensure you're not leaking your information. But the flip side of that is that you're not connected anymore. You don't have internet access. This could interrupt torrents um, or other things that you're trying to do on your computer. So with Surfshark Everlink, you don't really have to, um, I don't think you have to enable the kill switch necessarily. Basically, it will always just kind of stay connected and ensure you're not leaking anything. So to put it simply, if your VPN's off, you're offline with a kill switch, and that's a good way to stay secure. But instead of killing the connection, they wanted to make this kind of self-healing um, kind of connection. So I do think that is pretty cool. Um, that's really about it. Um, apparently, it's enabled on default. So that is really nice with the latest update. So all you have to do is enable WireGuard and it will turn on. So yeah, it looks like I have Surfshark uh, Everlink. I think it would be kind of cool to have some kind of indication that it's working, like some kind of like little bubble that says protected by Everlink. Um, it just seems like I kind of wish there was a little bit more of a visual indicator, um, but uh, you know, these VPNs don't necessarily always have the best kind of graphical user interface. They're usually pretty simple, not much changes. But yeah, what are my final thoughts on this one? Well, I do think it is a cool feature. I always thought kill switches were kind of annoying, to be honest, having to kind of put it on. Um, I, I didn't like I was enabled by default lots of times. They can cause really bad issues. Uh, if your VPN disconnects and it can kind of interrupt your internet connection. I've seen people having issues where um, it's hard to get your internet back on because some kill switches can be kind of funky. So I do think they're on the right track with this one. I do think it's pretty cool. I would have liked to see this not patented. I would like to see other VPNs implement this. Maybe they could do it a different way. 
But unfortunately, that's kind of the cold, hard reality of kind of business is that, you know, they always want all the best things for themselves so like i said guys you can get a good discount and some extra months with my link um, in the description down below um, that should give you a good little discount here um, so let's go ahead and see what kind of discount they're running right now so it looks like it's around 72 dollars for 28 months with the middle plan that also includes antivirus you can also get it for 60 dollars with four extra months with just the core plan and this should include access to this new everlink thing so this is a very very good deal still one of the best deals out there i think in terms of uh, vpns so definitely worth checking out if you guys haven't checked out surfshark i do think um, overall i think this feature is pretty cool um, I think it's going to help and ensure less IP leaks for sure. You don't really have to worry about it or enable anything. So it's kind of um, not really um, anything bad there. Also, you don't have to pay extra for it, which is pretty cool. Really, the cons are that I could just see a little bit more visual indicator um, and stuff like that. So anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this little news video about Surfstrikes Everlink. And I'll see you again very soon.